Two other quick things to mention here. This is from the Daily Mail. It says, two women in New Jersey's only all-women's prison have both fallen pregnant after having sex with transgender inmates. The pregnant women, who were not identified, are housed at the embattled Edna Mahan Correctional Facility in Clinton, which New Jersey Governor announced plans to close last year. Prison bosses said that in both instances, the sex was consensual. It is unclear if the women had sex with the same transgender inmate or if it was two different inmates. So already we have we need a Snopes fact check here. Well, not a Snopes fact check because they're not going to fact check something like this. But this is not an all women's prison apparently. I mean, that's kind of cool. That's that's uh, that's that's hard to figure out. It's an all women's prison and and women are falling pregnant. How does that happen? Well, because it's not all women's. Um, Edna Mahan houses 27 transgender prisoners and over 800 women altogether. It is also unclear how far along the two inmates are and whether they plan to continue with their respective pregnancies, whether they plan to continue. There's another euphemism for you. Um, an investigation has been launched. So there's a women's prison, 800 women, and they already have almost 30 men in the women's prison. And I can also, without, without knowing anything about the, the, the particulars here, and I don't know that I fully even believe the particulars that we're being told, like, we're just told that the sex was consensual. I mean, maybe it was. But listen, there's no reason to believe that whatsoever. You're taking violent criminal men, oftentimes like rapists and sex offenders, who are in prison as men, and then one day say, you know what, I'm actually a woman. And they're, they're sexually attracted to women. And so this is all just, just kind of a happy coincidence that now they get to be housed with women. Uh, You're taking them, you're locking them into cages with actual women. And then if if a woman uh, becomes pregnant, in fact, some of the headlines, there was one headline, it might have been in the Daily Mail or one of these other outlets. It said that uh, two women have fallen pregnant at a women's prison. They've fallen pregnant. Yeah, what are they falling on exactly? That's not not something, that's that's something that happens after a particular act. Now, whether that act was consensual, that's my point. Is, is I, I, There's no reason to believe that. Um, because we are not going to be told. If a trans male rapes a, a female inmate, that information is not going to make it to us through any official channels. They would never tell us that. I mean, and even if it was supposedly on the surface consensual... When you, when you put a, a woman in a, in, in a prison cell with a violent, dangerous man, and the woman, quote, chooses to have sex with the man, is, is that actually consent? Is there a real choice there? I mean, we, we've been told by the Me Too movement that um, if a woman chooses to have sex with her boss, that it's not really a choice. There's not really any consent there. Or not as much consent as there should be because of the power power dynamics at play. So you're a woman locked in a cell with a man who could overpower you at any moment, and who is sexually attracted to females, and you have sex with them. Is that is is it even a choice, or is it something these women are doing just out of self preservation? So I don't, no matter how you slice it, I'm not sure how you can even call it consensual. And if they've got 30 male prisoners in, in, a, in a, this one women's prison in New Jersey, um, this is this, you know, we're, we're talking about hundreds, if not thousands, of men who are in women's prisons right now. And again, they're, they're violent and dangerous. That's why they're in prison. So as I've been saying for a long time, I, th- this is, um, I, I guarantee you, there is right now an epidemic of sexual assaults by men against women in women's prisons. And it's happening right now and we will, we will never be told about it though. Because these women have no way of telling us. And of course the Me Too movement is uh, conspicuously silent about the whole thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.